A still staying in Borno State, the state government says it has recorded a significant drop in malaria caseload due to effective management of public health. The Commissioner for Health in the state stated this at a press conference commemorating this year's World Malaria Day in Meduguri. The Borno Commissioner of Health, Professor Babagana, revealed that the state in 2023 confirmed over 527,000 cases with 15,036 severe cases and more than 600,000 cases in 2022, while in 2021 it stood more than 700,000 cases. He noted that more advocacy and prevention is needed to tackle the menace, explained that Nigeria still accounts for over 25% global burden. The state malaria elimination program has yielded better results as recently seen in the National Malaria Indicator Survey of 2021. Net ownership by household was 70.4%. Net use by household was 36.7%. Uh, use by children under five of age uh, five was 55.8%. And net use by pregnant women was 56.6%. Pregnant women who received intermittent preventative treatment at least once was 78.7%. Prevalence of malaria in, in children under 5 was 18.6%. We must also invest in building resilient health systems while we continue our efforts to strengthen primary health care that will help us to achieve universal health coverage. In conclusion, let us recommit ourselves to the fight against malaria with a new sense of urgency and purpose. Together, we can create a more equitable world where everyone has the opportunity to live a healthy and productive life.